two months, the test will be taken off the market. Wait, what's up there? Five nights at Fred's. Come on, keep going. Don't slow down. It's Monkey Boy Blue coming at you with Game Dev Tycoon Part 6. 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5. Okay, Part 5, I think. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 5. Yeah, okay. Today, Nvento announced the much anticipated successor to the popular test console. <laughs> This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with the state of an art, 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super Test. So they know what they're doing. They're taking their time, not just throwing stuff out there like the Vena. Uh, fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. Uh keep saying it and i'm gonna keep saying it <laughs> i want to build the console oh yeah so by the way that they recommended you play this for 35 years i believe in between 30 to 35 somewhere but i put 42 years like over the recommendation that's because the years fly by and so fast um let's go ahead with Mm, my voice just cracked. You heard that? Uh, simulation in the city. Or maybe casual. Let's try casual. Because I was never good with that. Never good with casual. So, let's go ahead and buy the game link. I mean, it's still on the market for now. So, might as well do it. What should I call this? Uh, let's put the caps on. City living. Cool. No, not medium games. <laughs> not just yet. Gonna wait on that. Um, yeah, everyone. 2D graphics. I think I'm staying neutral with my cash. But if this game turns out to be some crap, then... Yeah, it might not go so well with how much money I have. Still trying to get back the four million though, but like the monthly things that you have to pay for, paying for your partner. Look at that, monthly cost is forty eight thousand. All right, so this part is gonna help me out a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that dialogue plays a little bit more part than artificial intelligence on that note. Hopefully, I hit four million again pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and guess that graphics is the top priority on that one. <laughs> this is a guessing game. Like, you're just making a game and hoping that it works out. Research technology. I need... Alright, so this is the last one you can possibly get so far. This one has two technology and two design. But I'll try this one to see if it focuses more on design. Because that's what she needs when we start making um those medium sized games 14 technology 11 design 12 15 All right. uh today the new game platform super test by nvento has been released i'm pretty sure that nvento is either everyone or young uh has a younger young has a younger <laughs> young has a more everyone or younger fan base um i kind of want to buy it but i'm still going down in my money right now so i don't think i can afford to, to do such a thing let's go ahead with something that i i know let's go ahead with the life and the simulation thing because yeah that set me on the right path casual is a bit risky and I'm going down in money. I haven't gone up in a while. What is this? Life simulation? I'm not going to call it Sims 2 yet. I can't develop sequels or anything like that yet. So I'll save that for now. Plus, it's not good to just, you know, make a sequel right off the bat like that. They just know you're money hungry. Um, Let's see here. 
I can't really think of anything out of the box. So I'm just going to go with the life. 2D graphics. Yeah. Yeah, this is something that I'm that I already know about, so that should be good. And the second game hopefully come Oh, whoa. Oh. All right, I can deal with a 5, but anything below that is kind of upsetting. 5 is bad enough. Oh, uninspiring. We hit the bottom on that one. City living. Living in a city. Uh, dear Gamescape, we have followed your progress in the recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to the part uh, to participate in the biggest game convention on the planet. Games, 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 also known as G3. By having your own company booth at g3 you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games and we think our audience would love to see you there we will contact you yearly with booth options hope to see you at g3 the g3 committee so that's all the way at the top i'm gonna go ahead and just hit that hit the top of that bar there thing about g3 is i don't know when it's when it's gonna come around so it's kind of just like i don't know what type of game to make and i'm not sure if i should be risking you know new types of games when i'm any time of the year honestly just for the simple fact that g3 could roll around at any time and whatever game that you're working on is gonna be the game at g3 and that's that's kind of scary so let's get her up there in the design uh city living okay it's not terrible it's not the best but it definitely stops selling quite quickly i'm in year eight already so it took me eight years to get to g3 that's a damn long time let's go ahead and just keep pushing out games all right so let's try this as fast as possible let's make a horror a mature game for the uh genesis Ooh, action yeah let's go with action and name it <laughs> at frids all right, I'll probably get the super test just so I have another thing to go off of. All right, wait, is this the right one? Okay, yeah. 2D graphics. Money is still at a standstill. The media is uh, a buzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference and a surprise announcement, Vani, <laughs> a company known for the General Electronics has presented a prototype console called the Play System. Oh, now Vani's in the picture. Apparently, Vani has collaborated with Ninvento creators of the beloved and successful test and super test consoles to, to develop what is a basically a super test with a CD drive. This would be the world's first console using the CD drive. What would they use later on in life like what's next after cd drives uh journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after fawny and invento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference things have turned sour invento announced today that they will cancel the project instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner oh wow wait what so this is not coming out rumors have uh, has it that the distribution deal the companies have worked out was unfavorable to Nintendo handing over much of the control to Vani. <laughs> Vani. It seems to be the end of the play system. Okay. So I wonder if any of this actually happened in real life. I'm not sure. So I'm, oh, God. I saw that one. Come on, give me a nine. 
Nine. Okay, seven. Oh, I'll take that. Hey. Hey, I'll take it. It's not the best game, but I'll take it. The game that I'm working on. Oh, wait, no. Which game is it going to be? This could be beneficial to me in a lot of ways. I could get more fans, causing me to get more money. Or I could just lose a bunch of cash and a couple fans with this. Either way, I'm not going to be in the top 100. But since I know what I'm working on right now, this is probably the best option. So I'm just going to push it as, as high as it can go at the moment. And hopefully gain a good bit of hype. Hopefully the game that doesn't come out at uh, G4, G, mm, G3 is... Hopefully the game that comes with me to G3 is the game that I'm working on now and not the life since that's already on the market. But if this game does well there, I'm going to... Two months, the test will be taken off the market. Wait, what's up there? Five Nights at Fred's. Come on, keep going. Don't slow down. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Hmm... I'll take it. Probably because we had a lot of bugs or just because we had... Oh, wow. Hype 42. Let's throw the hype in there a little bit more. And I'm kind of feeling... Kind of feeling a little bit cocky right now. So I'll go with one, 150,000. 150,000. The Cryptus, this is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some recent information which might be of interest to you. If you are interested in transfer 54,000 to enclose uplink location. As long as this isn't doing bad to anyone else. Thank you for your business. You have successfully researched evolution. Okay, so we just paid to research evolution. New research available sequels. Okay, yeah. If this game does freaking awesome then hey why not hype's going down so i might as well go ahead and just try to release this game at the moment all right a little bit over a half a million that did pretty good and the hype is going dang it i released it with one bug how did you find that how did you find it at least when you get bugs and everything some people will tell you and then they'll be like can you make like a patch for it. All right, so the test is off the market. Now they have the super test. Five Nights at Fred's came in. Give me that 10. That's good enough. It's not what I was looking for per se, Take it. Let's go with the post apocalyptic action machoa. And let's call this game Green Land. That's not how you spell green. Grin. Greenland. What platform? What did I pick? Um mature audience. I think I'm just going to go with the PC and be safe on that one. 2D graphics. I just kind of want to make a game that just doesn't work at all. <laughs> Let's push the gameplay all the way up there. Keep the engine up. I kind of think that if I have it raised up, it's not going to do as well as it could if I just try to balance it out. Uh, hi, this is Jason Green from Gaming World. Wow, would you look at that. Green. And I'm releasing a game called Greenland. I got word that Gamescape is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? I guess so. What is your uh, expectations regarding the success of Greenland? Do you think the game will be well received? Um, well, there's one hype. I don't think I have to hype it too much. Let's just be modest, just in case the game doesn't go well. I mean, that's always the best thing to do anyway. Like, this game's gonna blow your hat off. <laughs> no, nothing like that. That seems to be horrible for this. Uh... 
I just want to make a game where you just set the bar super high. <laughs> for all three sections for each. That'd be crazy. All right, so it's finished. Five Nights at Fred's is still on the market. I kind of want to set this up so they're both selling at the same time. Maybe I'll hit four million again when this game gets released. Well, only one way to find out. Let's train a little bit. Let's train you in speed and research. Get that up to speed. All right, so the reviews are coming in. Don't repeat yourself. Um, oh God, a five, five, six, five. As long as it's not a four. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. Uh, that game's not selling too well at all. <laughs> Might take me another episode. Oh wait, nope, there's four million. All right. There it is, you guys. I'm back to... F and it went down. Okay, and it's back. Let's just end the gameplay before it goes back down. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Could you help me out here? Leave a like. Hopefully, let's try to make it, like, I don't know, one like. And uh, subscribe for more episodes like this. And I will see you in the next video.